story this evening. Cleveland police remain on the scene of a deadly shooting on the city's east side. Police say three people were shot and killed. Melissa Reed live at the scene with more tonight at 5. Mel? Bill, so far police are not releasing any of the victims' names and they're not saying whether or not they have a suspect at this point either. Now what we do know is that two women and one man were shot in the head at this car shop behind me. The owner of the body shop discovered their bodies when he opened up the shop for business. Cleveland yeah. police are investigating a triple murder inside a local car shop on the city's east side. Police say the victims, two women and one man, were all shot in the head inside Imperial Auto Sales on St. Clair Avenue. My brother's been in business here you know, 15, 20 years, and something like this to happen kind of hits close to home. The shop is run by the Simeons family of Cleveland. The family says owner Billy Simeons opened the shop for business Friday morning and discovered the bodies. I really don't have any words to describe what's going on in my head right now. It's, you know, it's all surreal. How's your family? It's, they're hanging in there. It's, there's a lot of families affected here today. Police say the male victim was a part-time employee who had a key. All three were shot in the rear part of the shop, their bodies discovered in the same vicinity. I'm down the street at uh, Ross's Garage, and uh, I usually send customers up here because yeah. I know he do a lot of old school cars. And it's so close to home, hey, it's like, you know, I had just came down here to see if it was true. People say this auto shop is a family-run business that's been in the neighborhood for over 40 years. And according to the councilman of the ward, there's never been any problems reported at the shop. You just get a knot in your stomach. I mean, I know this, I grew up in this neighborhood. In fact, the next street over. I mean. Ward 11 Councilman Mike Polensic says the shop is well known in the neighborhood. In fact, the owner was working with city council to clean up the property. This is my old neighborhood, so when you hear this, and I know this address like the back of my hand, it, it was very troubling. This is an unfortunate situation that happened today in this neighborhood. There's you know, a lot of kids in this community, and for something like this to happen here is kind of appalling. All right, police still very much in the early stages of investigation. We do not know anything about the suspect at this point. If anyone out there has any information, they're asked to call Cleveland Police. Bill and Jen, in the meantime, Imperial Auto will remain close behind me while police continue this ongoing investigation. All right, okay. sounds like they have some clues already and, mm. uh, you know, things that they probably don't want to talk about that will hopefully lead to Not at to this killing. point. Yeah, thanks, Mel. Thank you.